pause this video and give this problem a try, and then when you have an answer, resume the video to check if you got the answer correct. In this problem, we're giving a balanced chemical reaction, and then we're told that five moles of Fe2O3 and six moles of Cl react, and then it asks us what's the limiting reactant, as well as how many moles of the excess reactor remains. So to start, we can to figure out the limiting reactant, we can take the moles and then we can divide by the coefficient. So we have five moles of Fe2O3 and we have six moles of CO. We can divide by the coefficients. The coefficient of the Fe2CO3 is one and the coefficient of the CO is three. So we can divide this by one and then we can divide this by three. This will give us five, this will give us two. And since this number is smaller, then we know that CO is the limiting reactant. So that means we can get rid of C and D. This is just a shortcut to help you figure out the limiting reactant. You get all the reactants into moles, and then you divide by the respective coefficients and see which number is smaller. Next, we have to determine how much of the excess reactor remains. So previously, we determined that the CO was the limiting reactant, and the Fe2O3 is the excess reactant. So there's going to be some of this left over. To determine how much is left over, we're first going to convert the limiting reactant into the moles of excess reactant. And that's gonna tell us how much of excess was used up. So we'll start with the moles of the limiting reactant, which is six moles of CO. And then we'll use the mole-to-mole -mole ratio to get the moles of the Fe2O3. And that is uh, one mole of Fe2O3 for every three moles of CO. And I got those numbers from the, from the coefficients in the balanced reaction. And I put the moles of CO on the bottom, so then this can cancel out. So then that'll be six divided by three, that means there's two moles of Fe2O3 was used up. So we started with five moles. If two moles are used up, that means we'll have three moles of the, uh, of the excess. So then the answer would be B, that the limiting reactant is CO, and then we're going to have three moles of the Fe2O3 remaining.